Many theories have surfaced in the months since a three-eyed walleye fish affectionately dubbed Third Eye Louis was pulled out of Lake Nipissing. Some claimed the freak fish spawned from a nuclear spill or was the product of an old uranium mine. Others pointed to the cyanobacterial blooms in the lake and the sewage pollution from wastewater plants dotting its shores as the cause of the periscopic third eye. The Great Lakes Basin holds a fifth of the world's surface fresh water and is home to more than 4,000 species, including 100 rare plants and animals, many of which are on the brink of extinction. It stretches 244,000 square kilometers, holds 5,000 tributaries and 30,000 islands. In short, the basin is the largest freshwater ecosystem on Earth. And it's under attack. Each year, billions of liters of raw sewage are dumped into its waters by way of combined sewer overflows from antiquated wastewater systems and bypasses at municipal treatment plants. The latter process is a deliberate discharge that occurs during heavy rainstorms, spring snow melt and power failures. Despite proposed new legislation and large investments, including $653 million by the Ontario government since 2007 to municipal wastewater infrastructure upgrades, untreated sewage is still being dumped into local lakes at an alarming rate.